Hey guys, I'm back doing another live stream. Today we're going to be talking about um, Jemmy. I don't know what um, Jemmy's going to have this year. I'm hoping Jemmy's going to have better stuff than last year. I mean, Jemmy had some really good stuff last year. Oh, hi, whoever joined. Um, we're talking about what is Jemmy going to have for us for this year. Because last year, Jemmy had some really good stuff, in my opinion. Some people thought it still isn't the best. I think Jemmy came back from a long, terrible couple of years. Like, Jemmy, a couple of years back, like 2014 and 2015, wasn't the best. When Jemmy came back in 2016, they came back big. The new Grand and Road Halloween life sizes are amazing. Dude, the Flying Broom Witch, I really like that. I might even come to mind and buy that. I really like it. The spell, the new, they brought, they're returning. They bring it, they're bringing back the Spell Speaking Witch. Um, with a whole new design. Face looks weird. The mouth looks, the mouth on the new, on the returning Spell Speaking Witch. The mouth doesn't move very good. I don't like the movement. The Flying Witch, the mouth moves a little better. This prop is so good. The, the Flying Broom Witch, how it flies is so cool. The animation, her phrases are so cool. Um, It's a classic for sure. It's not the most classic kind of prop, but they're trying to bring back that classic feel, which I like. Um, but Jemmy, um, there's this new Gorg Airblown Jemmy 2018 Gargoyle. And, um, it's like black and orange. Apparently it's like in, in the, in the eighties, in the $80 area. So it must be 12 feet. I really want the new Spell Speaking Witch 2.0. I actually like the design on this one more. It's pretty cool. Does it come with that big cauldron that fogs? Because if it doesn't, I wouldn't I wouldn't even bother buying it. A witch needs something. Uh, well, I'm not buying it then. I, w I don't even want to buy it. But the, the Flying Broom Witch is probably Grandin Road's best prop so far. Um, but Jemmy this year, guys. You know what? You know what would be really cool? <laughs> ah, shit. You know what would be really awesome? If they bring back my Santa for Christmas 2018. Yeah. It'd be cool if they brought back my Santa, my life-size Santa, for Christmas 2018, made by Jemmy. Um, it probably won't happen, but it would be so cool to see him come back, my Santa, that I have. I don't think it's the original Santa, but it's by far Jemmy's best life-size Santa. There's no Santa out there that is better looking than mine that sings and dances um but guys jemmy for halloween this year um i've seen i don't know why i yawn on video all the time like i don't know what it is but i hope that um what was i gonna say I seen Jemmy's two props for 2018. I seen the the new like Frankenstein zombie prop they have, the one that says funny phrases. That was at the Halloween, um, at the Halloween uh, show, Halloween Party City or whatever it's called. Um, I don't like him. His legs look funny. The pants, like for his legs, don't look that good. Um. The skeleton one, we didn't get to see a video of him talking yet, but it, I hope he has eyes that move. It'd be cool to see his eyes move. Um, Jemmy last year brung back 
a classic um, skeleton face. Um, the one that has the girl that talk, the girl skeleton and the guy skeleton that talk to each other with funny phrases. That's cool. I probably wouldn't buy it though, but it's pretty cool. Um, I really like the zombie that Jemmy had for 2017. He was pretty cool. I liked him a lot. Black Widow was pretty cool too. Um, I find this year, I find this year so far, Jemmy's life sizes aren't as good as last year. I don't know if they're going down with quality again. I really hope they're not. Because in 2016, Jemmy themselves said that they were bringing back the quality. Hi, Hawk Glass. Um, do you know anything about Jemmy for Halloween this year? Do you know what they're bringing? Do you know if they're, um, do you know if they're returning any props this year? If you, if you know what they're returning for Hollow, like, bringing back from, like, the old days? Oh. Um, I was saying a couple minutes ago for, for Jemmy for Christmas stuff this year. Oh, yeah. Um, I was thinking it'd be cool if Jemmy for Christmas this year brung the Santa, returned the Santa that, like, brung him back for 2018, the one I have. But the problem is they can't make that RAM base, the brown base with the red button for Christmas, you know? They can't, they, I, apparently, um, one of my friends work for Jemmy, and, um, that guy that said, um, he asked Jemmy if he, if they would bring back that base with the purple button, and they said, no, it's too expensive or something, and I was like, really, that's, that's dumb, that's like Jemmy's excuse, I hope that's not an excuse for that Jemmy's saying, I hope that they're not making up stuff. You know what I mean, guys? Um, you know it would be really cool, though, if Jemmy brung back these. What if Jemmy... What if... What if Jemmy brung back these? Like, what if they brung these back for Christmas 2018? The Spinning Snowflake Snowmen. Or the Snowwomans. What if they brung those back for... 2018 guys how cool would that be if they brung these back because i think that would be pretty damn cool um i am really happy i have this in my collection yeah that would be so awesome the only thing is mine's missing the green button on the bottom here but if you guys have one of these green buttons from these these jemmy items um, I would be glad to buy one, because the string is still attached to her suit, so I could easily tie it back on. So if anyone has one of those green buttons from these, from, like, collect those green buttons, or just found them, um, let me know, because I'll buy one for, off you for, like, three bucks. Hey man, I saw some good items off eBay recently. What did you see? For the video, I'm going to put her on my lap. Since we're talking about... You know what? Since we're talking about Jemmy, I'm going to... Come over here. I'm going to try to figure something out here, guys. So, we're going to... I'll be right there with you guys. Just trying to move things around here. If you don't mind. Um... I'm just trying to move this box here. Okay. There we go. So we're going to come over here. And we're going to talk over here. Since we're talking about Jemmy, let's come over here. And that fell. Ugh, stay up. Oh my god. I'm bringing this freaking box over here, because that's the only thing that will hold the damn thing. At least it will. Since we're talking about Jemmy, let's come over here 
can talk. What if they, um, what if they, uh, what did you say? Let me see. What if they br bring back the motion at Frosty the Snowman? They won't. Um, that'd be pretty hard to do. I really don't know how they would do that. Um, that'd be pretty interesting. Well, you never know. Yeah, I know. If you're wondering, this Santa is a rare variant, just letting you know. Um, I ordered creepy roaming bear for the sale. Oh, nice. Cool. Um, and the best thing is, guys, I got the Santa for 75 bucks for my dad's friend. Oh, I get that cold again. Um, I got it for $75 off of my dad's friend's wife. And uh, she had two of these, and they worked perfectly. Um, uh, let me look. Nine voltage, 1.5A. Nine voltage, 1.5A, and that says that it says that on his box as well. So, and you know what? Do you know what his original adapter was? You remember? You remember that first review I made back in like 2016 of my Santa? It has like 14,000 views was this one and these white things that go down his suit on his belly they were folded over so they were widened out so they looked weird so I, I recognize that I looked on the box I unfolded them they look way better now see those white lines those were folded over when I got them when I got them and uh, he was using a 0.6 like nine voltage 0.6a he wasn't getting enough power. That's why he moved fast and slow again. Well, the adapter I'm using now, that review I made of him upstairs, like in the corner with the 2,000 views, the reason why he moves so much better is because he's using the proper adapter he needs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I probably won't be doing that ever again. That was dumb. Now, if you were to guess, how do you think... The, they price him for wait now if you were to guess how much you do you think they priced him for what do you mean I already know how much he was my parents told me 75 bucks that's exactly how much he was um, he came with the box didn't come with the right adapter but he only has a couple marks on his hands not not recognizable at all but he's in pretty good condition Oh, huh. My mom, no. My nan's friend got him. She got the, my, my nan's friend got the last one when he came out. He sold really quick the first year. They brought him back in 2005 at Canadian Tire again. Well, in 2004, she got the last one. Her grandparents got it for her. It was 300 and something dollars, brand new. And look, like, he's so lifelike, too. Like, that's why he looks identical to Santa Claus. His face, his look. Like, they made sure... Like, this is probably Jemmy's most realistic... Most realistic... Most realistic Santa ever made. Some people might be like, Oh, the six-foot Santa's realistic. The six-foot Jemmy Santa is stupid, in my opinion. I don't like it. The six foot tall one, I don't like it. Unless, I mean, it's okay. I actually like it better than the hard bearded one ones. The hard bearded ones I don't like at all. In my opinion, they kind of look cartoony. The six foot one is a little better in my opinion, but this one, this one is definitely the best model.
If you if you want a Jemmy Santa, look for the one I have. It's freaking awesome. Um, and you know what's interesting about this model? The head doesn't come off. And I'm not even kidding around. The head does not come off. It doesn't even say on the box. On all the versions, it tells you the head comes off and all that. Well, this one, the head doesn't come off. But he does collapse down. And, and the reason why, he's been standing up ever since he was taken out of the box in 2004. He hasn't been pressed down on ever since. So how many years was that? would that be? Fifteen years to fourteen years, guys. Fourteen or fifteen years, he's been standing up that long. So if I went to lock him down in down position, the lock would probably snap. Oh yeah. That's what I mean. They should remake him. You know what I mean? They should remake this one. There's a version of him on Daily Motion that replaced the last song on his board. Oh, um, there's one that's a hard bearded one, and it moves, dances very weird. The head doesn't move with the body. The body moves like this, and his arms go, and it, it's like the hard bearded Santa, but his head doesn't move with the body. It's just, you know, that dancing motion they did with one of them. Well, they put a couple, I think one new song on it. Wait. You're telling me. Wait, what year was he sold? Is it a prototype? Oh, I seen someone with this exact same Santa. It has the same face. But they made it with a hard beard and it has the exact same face with this. Someone was making fun of him as a YouTube poop. And it showed it in the background with the same clothes and everything. Same face, just a hard beard. And it looked, it looked, I'm pretty sure it was a prototype. And guys, letting you know right now, the picture of him on the box is a prototype as well. Every item that Jemmy, every item that you see of a Jemmy item on the box, it's a prototype. I'm not even kidding around. Jemmy does this all the time with their props. They put the prototypes the pictures of prototypes on their boxes. Um, I don't know if they like to show what they were trying to give an example of what the actual item was going to look like. Um, but the face looks a little different on the face on this one on the picture. Like, look, tell me if that, here's my Santa, look at the face. Look at the face on the box. Does that not look a little different? Let me know if that looks a little different. Oh, that's interesting. But guys, if you're ever looking for a Jemmy life-size singing, dancing Santa, Look for the one I have in 2004. When I was a little kid, I remember going to Canadian Tire in 2004. Oh. Um, I seen that it doesn't have the same head as mine. Um, the hard bearded Santa has a whole new sculpted face. Not joking around. Um, the face on this is completely different nose, the cheeks, they're more bony looking on mine, the eyebrows, the hair, the nose, the mouth, and I, I mean, the only thing that's probably the same, the hands, and the base, and maybe the boots, but everything else is completely different. Well, shouldn't say that, the soundtracks are basically the same. Oh yeah, I gotta ask you a quick question. I've seen a couple, I've seen a couple, I've seen one video, there was a, a person selling this Santa, not like, they didn't take a picture of mine and make it look like they were selling mine, but they had their own, the same one I have, and the head moved, the mouth didn't move, and it didn't dance, 
and the and it and the voice sounded much lower. Let me know what that is, guys. When some of these Santas have lower voices than others, it was like wonderful time all you. Like it had a lower voice, and I don't know if that's the. I don't know if there's a way to change that or it's just the soundboard, sound whatever. Compared to the Frosty, how much more rare is the Santa? You know what? I would have to say this one is even... This Santa dude... Oh my god. There's one on eBay right now. And you do not want to know the price that they're paying for the Santa. They have the same one I have. Actually, no. I don't know if it's the camera, the way they shot the picture... But the blue on the box here on mine is darker. Well, the box they have, the blue color over here and on the bottom, on their box, it's lighter than mine. It's like a sky blue on the on here. Well, here on mine, it's dark blue. So they must have they must have the model that is 2005. You know, um, you want to know? Go on eBay right now and type up Jimmy Life Size Santa. And you'll see the exact same one like this on there. And look at the price. They want $100 and something cents for shipping. And it's $779 already for the freaking thing. And uh, so that's $879 for it. I don't know if it's just how rare it is. But he knows it's Jemmy at least. My friends being silly again I had to put them in timeout Andrew if you're gonna act like that you're gonna be putting timeout man sorry you can't act like that on my live stream that's not acceptable people on here don't want to hear about that there's people on YouTube that will take offense to that Andrew Andy vlogs just telling you right now that's pretty racist man Exactly. I warned them yesterday. I said, don't say that kind of stuff. And what does he do? He does it again. I mean, you can joke around with with about it to me on PlayStation, but I'm not going to talk about... I don't talk about that kind of stuff. I get, he, I get you're joking around, man, but just don't say that. Because... There's already people on here getting offended, so just don't say that. Sorry about that, guys. Don't get mad at them, guys. Just don't worry about it. He's joking around, but... I know he's joking around, but just don't say that. That's not, that's not very cool. Especially when you're from uh, PEI. And you're Canadian, that's not, you know. What are you able to, what do you mean, what are you, be, what are you able to test? What do you mean? Oh, um. And he should be fine. Um, I haven't tested her out. I'm going to take the batteries out of my, my five-foot walking clown, and I'm going to test out my spinning snowflake snow woman, okay, guys? I'll be right back. I'm going to get the screwdriver, and I'll take the batteries out of my clown and show you guys the spinning snowflake snow woman. I'll show you what screwdriver I use. Oh, uh, what the frick? Where's the box? What in the hell? Okay, then. That's weird. Uh, what the frig? Guys? I don't think I even know where the box is now. Oh, shit. The screwdriver box. Okay, they touched it. That... Guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ask my sisters where they put the... Uh, 
put the box with the screwdrivers in because they touched it. I know that right now. They touched it. I'm going to go ask. I'm trying to find it guys, someone touched it, someone put it somewhere, so now I have to search for it. Uh, okay guys, I guess we're not going to be testing anything out. And yeah, I will be telling my dad when, he, when they get home. If someone wants to be sneaky in here and not tell me where anything is, I'll play the exact same game too. Because... They have no clue what I'm talking about. Uh, I know what they're doing. They're pretending that they don't know where stuff is, but they know. Don't worry. They know. They'll know when my dad gets home. Don't worry. My dad will make them know. Right now, I'm telling you right now, guys, my dad will make them know. But that is not supposed to be touched. So now I don't even know where that is. Okay, guys, that... Oh, my God, I'm stupid. Oh, my God. I am... Bl I'm the most blind person in this house. My phone is sitting. That That's what make, that's what's making my phone stand up. The damn box. Okay. That's okay. Well, tell your brother, Andrew, that, uh, you're not supposed to be staying, saying that kind of stuff on the internet. Because I'm telling you right now, my friend, my buddies on YouTube, if anyone tries, uh, hating on me, my buddies will stick up for me and tell them off. I'm telling you right now, Andrew, he, they will. I don't need to, they will for me. I'm not that kind of person that's just gonna... How would your neighbor write that? How would your neighbor write that? Tell me. I would like to know that. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what is happening. So I'm going to take out the other screwdriver. Take the lid off the spinning snowflake snow woman. He was at our... Well, tell him that he shouldn't be talking like that. That's not cool talk like that that's not very freaking smart okay okay so now I lost the screw so let's go on another adventure we just lost the freaking screw okay guys I guess we're looking for the screw now Where the frick is the screw? 
Oh my god. All the shit's in the way. Too much shit's in here. I can't see. Okay, guys, I'm just looking for the freaking screw. I look like a cat looking for a screw, guys. Oh, you freaking kidding me. God. I lost the screw. Shit. Oh, well, I don't care. Testing out my. Oh, get in there. Get in there. I'm paying the arse to frickin' do everything in this furnace room. Literally, a pain in the arse. To do everything in this furnace room. Okay, we're gonna center here. We're gonna try it out. No, turn the other way. Oh, break. The battery compartment is very weird with this damn thing. Come on. For Frank's sake. This freaking thing just completely. Stupid. Okay, it's working now. Break. So let's test it right here. Here we go. Um, she takes a, um, she can take a, uh, six voltage DC adapter. Where can you get a six voltage DC adapter? Cause if you guys know, if you can, can you go, can you get them at like value village or anything? Most wanted, uh, anywhere. Do you guys know? I would like to know so I can, uh, buy a, Six voltage DC adapter. If you guys know, be very, it'd be very helpful if anyone knows where to get one. I find that hard to believe that you sell them. We're going to set that back here. And now we're going to take the batteries out of this and we're going to and we're going to put them back in the clown. There we 
go. It's back in. So we're actually going to put this thing right here. This thing right here. That here. Over here. Okay, we're going to put the batteries back into the clown. We're going to then we're going to put the screw back in and and I'm not testing him out because I already had him going and I don't want the gear to end up splitting before Halloween. I want to have and this thing is going in the garage this year. You know why? Did if you haven't seen my last live stream, go to the end somewhere after this live stream and look at the and you'll see him going in the garage and uh the halloween lady that was selling him said oh he needs to be on a flat surface to move so we take him out and um put him in the garage on the garage floor and uh, he was walking his face was scraping on the floor a little it wasn't doing it all the time I had to super glue his pumpkin back on his hat because it was actually coming off. It was already doing that when I got him the first day anyway. So, but yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him a lot. I don't even know what this stuff. So we're back. This is the screwdriver I like to use. It's a very small screwdriver, but it works. Um, so what else should we talk about, guys? Oh yeah, I'll show you my. Uh, I'll show you what's what air blown inflatable I have. I want to tell you the story of this air blown inflatable when it almost broke last year and it was actually my dad's fault but he actually felt guilty so not letting it happen again so it got it got ex Andrew remember last year when we got that really bad wind last year and it was like the worst wind we've had in years for a winter storm anyway he was blown around when we got home the wire was pulling on the fan I thought that wire was going to pull right out and never, and I thought this thing would never work again. So we didn't get him up after he fell down, couldn't find the stakes, couldn't even find those small metal stakes for his fan. And you wouldn't believe how ticked off I was. You guys would not like to see it on video. Let's just say that right now. I was that ticked off. I put him in the garage, threw him on the freaking floor. And left them in there. So we tried getting them up again. Couldn't. The ground was so froze. Couldn't. This year? Well, I am not leaving my Christmas stuff, the outdoor Christmas inflatables on. Oh my god, it was brutal. This is him in the box. You know how much this was, Andrew? I'll tell you right now. I've had him for two years now. Works fine. He was originally $69.88. $69.88 sold at Walmart. These are actually rare. I know that sounds hard to believe. This one's actually rare. I had to get go eat lunch. Oh, that's okay, man. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the story now what happened last year with this. So my parents decided to leave these on when they know when they knew we were getting a hurricane winter storm that night. We came home from my aunt's and I knew this was going to happen and I was so I was telling them like leave them off. Oh, and they were like, "Oh, it's fine." So we came home and this thing was blown all over the place. The thing was totally taken down by the wind 
I thought the 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 fans the stands on the fans snapped. It was that bad. The wire was pulling on the fan. I thought that wire was going to pull right out, and that, this thing would have never worked again. Um, and then I would be totally ticked off. So I told my dad, what did I tell you? Not to leave this stuff on. And I don't care if it's supposed to be not windy at all. I am not. I am definitely not. Because every time I go somewhere, when these things are left on, something bad happens. I'm not even kidding around. And uh, my dad's like, oh, they're made to, for the wind. No, they're not. They're not made for strong winds. Because what's going to happen eventually? This thing is going to rip, and I'm not going to be happy. I want to take as good care of this thing. So next, for this year, I don't care. If I have to argue with my parents, I'm not leaving this stuff on when I go somewhere. Um, if I, I always watch my outdoor, I always watch, I always take a look out the window to make sure everything's okay. Because once it, because this year, I am putting him in the ground really tight this year. Because he would, <laughs> last year was pretty tight, but this year has to be tighter for this, for the strings. Um, well, it wouldn't hurt him at all. But I want to make sure, because since he's so big, you have, the bigger these things are, the better you have to have these in the ground, the stakes in the ground, and you have to make sure they're really tight, the strings. So I have the, the this Jemmy inflatable jack-o'-lantern, and one time it blew across the street. Holy crap. Well, Frank, that would have been something. A YouTube poop right there. Oh. I thought this snowman was enjoying his outdoor adventure Drinking so much freaking eggnog, he got so freaking wasted, he couldn't stand up anymore. But at least it wasn't damaged. Good point. I thought when I got home, oh, this snowman must have had so much eggnog, he just got wasted, he couldn't even stay up anymore. I was like, whoa. Damn. And I begged my mom to get this in 2016. I'm happy I did, because it is freaking cool. This year, I'm going to see if my dad can help me this year. Um, because he's not easy to get, get up. I, if you're only doing this on your own, I, if you're not eat, since he's so big, I would probably get help next year to put this guy up because he's pretty big. The only reason that we found out it is when this guy ran, rang out our doorbell and he saw it while he was walking his dog. That's good. Good thing, man. Good thing he... Some people are nice like that, you know? It's good to have those kind of people that will like, that will tell you that your blow-up or something is blown down. It's always nice for people to help you out with situations like that. Um, I'm actually going to set this right here. That's probably the best idea. I can read, oh, last year my 2002 Frankenstein inflatable broke. How did it break? I would love to know. I think he knew it was us since we had two or three other other one, others up. Oh, nice. Excuse me. At least he knew it was yours, though. That's good. Um, do you know anyone that has the Santa as well? The one I have? Does anyone know anyone that, or did you ever see one of these before? This, this one I have? Did anyone see this one I have at a store or at a person's house? The Santa? If you haven't, that's okay. But... I seen, before I got this, I went to my Nan's friend's house to see it, and I really liked it. I liked it a lot. Something was wrong with the cord, probably how old it was. Yeah, that was probably the reason. I 
I've only seen it on your channel. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I've seen three of these ones on YouTube that don't dance. Um, but if you ever find this Santa, if it's broken or not, get it. I think Jemmy should remake the Spinning Snowflake Snowman back in stores to Great Man. I was just talking about that a couple minutes ago. That'd be very cool. Um, but, man, this box is in pretty rough shape. I'm not going to lie. I, do you guys want to, want me to tell you what songs my Santa sings? I can tell you if you want me to. He plays, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Up on the housetop, winter wonderland, we wish you a merry Christmas, and jingle bells. And I'm glad they put that one on him. Also, a few years ago, the landscapers accidentally mowed one of his feet, but we rubber banded. Oh, that's that's good. Um, do you know uh, the Jemmy? Do you know the Jemmy life-sized? rare variant singing dancing snowman the ones that hat the one that has the like that santa hat with the big snowflake in the middle and his cheeks are red and when his mouth moves they light up red that's the model i want because 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 that snowman that i'm talking about was sold the same year he was sold so that's awesome they were sold both years the santa sold quicker though and uh, I think the snowman one is actually a little more rare than the Santa. The only thing of our Frankenstein we have left is his head. Lol, we cut it off before we had to throw it away. I think we threw away the box too. Yeah. I had a friend on YouTube that found a Jemmy. Like imagine, okay imagine this, imagine how lucky... If you seen one of these on the side of the road to pick up if you want it, would you pick it up if it was broken or not? I would for sure. I wouldn't give a damn if it didn't dance or not. I would definitely be picking it up still. Because I'm telling you right now, the, the problem with most of these Jemmy singing dancing Santas, the belt wears out or it snaps. That's what usually happens. Either that or... The gear splits in the head. I'm very surprised the belt hasn't... Sure, but I would have maybe sold it or traded it. Well, I wouldn't. I mean... If you've seen this thing in person, it's so cool. It's way cooler than you think in person. I'm telling you, man, if you want to hear something about my inflatable jack-o'-lantern, sure. Yeah, I would like to hear about your jack-o'-lantern. Oh yeah, guys, do you know that new Jemmy 2018 airblown inflatable gargoyle that's black and orange? Well, people said it was going to be at the Home Depot. It's not. Because up in the U.S., like, they already have Halloween stuff up. They have the inflatables up, which is awesome. And I didn't see the gargoyle. Holy crap. That's cool. That is awesome. I don't like to say this, guys, but I don't think Jemmy is ever going to bring back the black base with the purple button. And a lot of people, you know, sad to say that. I mean, it'd be nice to I don't think.
Oh my god, Halloween this year at Home Depot is so good. i seen videos. I want that inflatable black cat that has the witch hat. The one that had... The one that the head moves side to side. That one. I want that. I heard do not... I heard do not get the 12 foot inflatable clown. Now... I, a lot of com companies aren't like how they used to be. I know. Um... And Jemmy, one of my friends works with Jemmy, apparently. He he works for Jemmy. And he said, uh, he asked Jemmy why they're not bringing back the black base with the purple button. And they said it's too much money. And I'm thinking to myself, how much money did Jemmy make? Did they, they must not be making as much money as they used to be. Oh... That inflatable YouTuber guy that got that new 12-foot clown, he said the stakes, it doesn't come with enough stakes or strings or something, and it, and it probably won't, like, he was ranting on it before he even tried it outside. I'm thinking to myself, how come, are, why, I'm thinking to myself, why are you ranting it before you even try, didn't try it outside yet? Yeah. I was thinking to myself, like, why are you ranting on it? You didn't even try to put it outside to make sure it, and see if it won't fall. I'm actually probably going to get more Halloween inflatables this year. No doubt. Am I going to? Probably. Um, they, do you know that, uh, Jemmy Airblown inflatable skeleton monkey or whatever it was? It, it, the arms went out and, it, and they went back in. My Walmart had that. My, I couldn't get it, though. I didn't have... Yeah. They could have. I still like that monkey, though. It was pretty cool. I wanted it. I couldn't get it, though, unfortunately. I want to get more inflatables, but I really do. Yeah. I actually want to get another fog machine this year, even though I have a fog machine, I want to um, get another one for outside. I have one in the garage for Halloween, the haunted garage, but I want to um, put one outside as well. Also, what did you think of my trailer? Did you like it? anyone like the trailer I made on my channel the new one I thought I did a good job it's probably my best trailer so far I thought I did pretty good I'm gonna change the there back to normal In my opinion, I think I did pretty good on the trailer. I gave you guys a hint of what could come soon. Well, not too soon. In, a, in, a, in like a couple months. I didn't watch the whole thing, but from what I saw, it was great. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You should definitely watch it. Um, it gives you a good idea of what is coming. I think you guys are going to like it. Oh, no, I don't. I do a trailer to give you guys a hint of what I'm getting for Halloween. Yeah, or Christmas. I might start doing that. My dad likes this thing that I'm getting, too. He thinks it's cool. I can't say what it is. You guys have no idea. And that's what I'm happy about. I'm really excited. Because I remember last time, I kind of revealed it too quick. Well, I mean, this, the, the, the clown trailer I made, right? It says the clowns are coming. 
the trailer shows my clown that I already have. And I talked about a legend, you know, that clowns could come here and all that. Do you like Morbid? Morbid? It depends. I mean, what did Morbid make this year? Did they make Slim Soul Stealer? I actually like Slim Soul Stealer. I'm not going to lie, he's pretty damn creepy. Slim Soul Stealer is awesome. Love the prop. Some people don't like it because of the long arms, but I love everything about it. I know it's based off of Slender Man, and, it's a, and it doesn't look exactly like him, but I, I like the concept of it. I like his phrases. I like how he moves. It's so disturbing. His face, oh my god, it's so menacing. But it's so cool at the same time. I understand. Halloween Express made a video on their website and his mouth didn't move as good as the two other Slim Soul Stealer props we've seen. Because the two other ones, the mouth was, wasn't like detached. Like the the so stuff was detached from the mouth. And I was thinking if mine does that, I'm gonna I'm gonna glue that back on the face, you know. So it doesn't like come to disattach dislocate it again. But it is what it is. He looks like a soft puppet. Uh I guess, yeah. Kind of. But at the same time, he doesn't. I haven't I haven't seen him in person, so I can't judge. That new Broom Flying Witch for Home Depot 2018, I freaking love it. It's probably... It's so much better than that witch they had last year. I didn't like the witch they had last year. It was too damn cheesy. Didn't like it. I like the voice on this one more. I like the phrases, and I like the animation more. Be except the mouth. The mouth on this one was kind of weird, but it's not as weird as that spell, new spell speaking witch that they're returning. The mouth on that, that it was like... It was so weird. It was like, it was like punched in or something, and it was like, what the frick? Derp as freaking frigger. <laughs> It was like some of, you know those towering creepy clown faces? It was like that, but worse. Like, the face was just, like, the mouth was just distorted on this one. It was so weird. My mouth on that, the mouth on that is weird. I know. Oh my god, it was like, what in the frig? I was like, what is this? Is this even professional, or is this like cheap as frig? The mouth sink is bad on both props. Yeah. You know what, though? I'm not going to lie. Before you say that, more, um, what's the name? Grandin Road. They've, they've sh did videos of new props, and they like to do that. I've noticed. I feel like the Flying Witch is kind of kid-friendly. It's kind it's supposed to be, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's still pretty good, though, of a prop. Um, do you know what would have been cooler for the spell-speaking witch? Do you know those gemmy witches that hold the, a tiny cauldron and it miss when they hold it? They should have done that when she moves so you can fill it up with water. It would have been so cool if it did that. I've seen... Okay, I'll be... I'm going to get something. Do you know my cauldron witch? Well, I still kept the picture since the other box was damaged because my sisters pranked me. My, uh... Wait, the the Jemmy life-size five feet singing, dancing Santa, the rare one with the bells? Wait, you... Wait, Blake Schuart, do you still... Do you have the one I have? Do you have the exact same one I have? 
Because if you do, make a video on it. Oh, well, they thought they thought I didn't want the box anymore. They didn't realize. I, I was mad, though. I, I was so mad, but I got over it. They didn't, they didn't know I still wanted the box for my wit because I had her out all year out of the box, so they assumed I didn't need the box anymore. They, they, they decided to shred it in shreds. At least they didn't break this, because you know what? This is the prototype Wit Cauldron Witch. Because look, the face looks a little different. The cauldron is freaking huge. Look at the size of that cauldron. The cauldron's taller, and it's bigger. Look at it. It's big. Do you know, um, Jemmy made a video of the prototype, and, um, it changed, the, the Wister actually changed colors, and the cauldron was massive. And you know what? I wish they made the cauldron bigger. But you know what? It's still good. It's still good. In my opinion, the Cauldron Witch is Jemmy's best prop of all time. There's no witch prop out there better than this one. This called the Cauldron Witch is still the best witch out there and the most classic witch that you can buy by far. So if you ever are thinking about getting a Cauldron Witch, um, if you can't repair something, try finding one that works. But at the same time, if you can't repair it, you shouldn't get it anyway because you always want to try repairing them, you know. But it says here, life-size Halloween cauldron witch. Oh, yeah. How did you get the clown with teeth? Oh, uh, the lady at, at the Halloween store knows I admire Halloween. So, and she knows I have passion for Halloween a lot. And she knows I really like it. So she decided to give me four or five props for a hundred bucks. Only one moves, but still, that's good. And then she gave me a couple small decorations for free. So, but you want to know how much this thing was originally? Look, they wanted $329.99 for this. That's crazy. Um, I'll tell you here what, she, what it says on our, on this picture. Mouth and body move as she speaks. Life-size Halloween cauldron witch. Cauldron mess and bubbles. Oh yeah, guys. Remember how I was talking about how you can take that little round piece off of the middle of the cauldron? Look here. Jemmy has it off. If you have that round piece off, it only mists and fogs in that little round piece. When you take it off, it mists and bubbles and fogs when you take that off. And the whole thing. And it looks way better when it's off, guys. If you have a Cauldron Witch, take that piece off. It looks way better. Trust me. Hey, what's going on? It says here, Cauldron mists and bubbles. Eyes light up and move. Sound and motion activate. You know what, guys? Maybe this whole time you're not even supposed to... I one day went to visit. Oh, nice. Um, but guys, maybe this whole time you're not supposed to have that little round piece off. Maybe it's there to actually protect. Um, I can't take it out. Take them out, unfortunately. I mean, you know what? I'll take out one. I'll take out one. And this is the last time I'm taking it out because I took it out yesterday to show my nan. But I'll take this one out because the rest of them are stored pretty good and I can't get to them. I got this one. And it was sold at Spear Halloween, I think, in 2009 or 20, 2010. So I'll take them out, I guess. Do you guys want me to take them out or is it okay if I just leave them in? Because there he is in there. His hands are rubber. Rubber. See, his hands are like rubber. Is it okay if I leave him in the box, guys? Because I don't really want to take him out. Okay, thanks, man. Since you showed me. Yeah. Thanks. I'll be back. i got to put him back in here. Um...
Yeah, but like I was saying, maybe this whole time, you're not supposed to have that little round piece. You can name the other props you got. Um, okay. I got this, like, static flesh-eating zombie prop. It's a girl one, and she has gray hair, and her face, like, her mouth opens like, it stays open like this. And her, and she has, like, blood on her face, and she has, like, a white dress when it's bloody, and she holds this, like, hand, bloody hand, and she's like this, and she's six feet, and I have this other plastic, cheap plastic static six foot zombie, and it's like, it doesn't do anything, but it has blonde hair, and it, it looks kind of cartoony, but maybe this whole time, guys, you're not supposed to have that little round piece in the middle of that cauldron for the witch. Maybe this whole time it's supposed to be off. Because it explains here. Because when you have that round piece on, it doesn't bubble. It doesn't bubble. It's It will only mist and light up. Well, here it says cauldron, mist, and bubble. So maybe this whole time it was supposed to be made not to be on. Because Jemmy only advertised it with it on once. What's the store name where you got all of it? Halloween Central. Halloween Central, I got her from. She still has three, two more of these, I think, or three or two more of these. She had four Cauldron Witches. Um, but she had she has three now. She has one that's broken. Um, but two of them are supposed to work. Um Do you ever film? You're I don't think you're allowed to. I could be wrong. Um, I don't know if her boss lets you, but you can take pictures. I don't think you're allowed filming though, but you can take pictures in there. Um, I'm gonna put this back. Okay. Yeah. Um could you ask? Uh, I could ask. Um, I think my dad already asked her, though. I can ask my dad when he gets home today if you're allowed to film in Halloween Central. And it is only a Canadian store. If you can't, could you take pics then make a slideshow so you could upload it? Absolutely. That's what I'll probably do. You know, just take pictures of stuff anyway. Um, man, this year I want to get some spooky town villages. I, you know, you can actually get the set. The set the house is on. That, like, island set that you can get. The Halloween town set. So you can set the houses on. I'll probably get that first. Then the spooky townhouses. I'm going to find ones that are animated. I'll probably get like one that's lighted up. Two or one or two. Before I get any spooky town villages. I'm probably going to be getting. I'm probably going to be going to the dollar store this year. Best Buy. Um, Home Depot, um, Walmart, and Michaels. I don't know where else I'll go. I don't know where else I can get Halloween stuff. But maybe Valley Village and, and another thrift store. So, you know. And you know that big light up pumpkin I have? Well, Home Depot this year has ones that are even bigger. And I might go and pick one up. So that's going to be awesome. And uh, props that I would like to get, guys, is the Jemmy life-sized Rob Zombie Michael Myers. Um, 2009, by the way. Um, what else? I like the Halloween Rob Zombie one better. It feels more like Halloween. There's something about it that does 
it feels more like it. It'd be really cool if, if, um, Jemmy made the Halloween 2018 Michael Myers. Wouldn't that be awesome? Unfortunately, it would be very expensive for Jemmy now to do that. Because, like, I mean, it, I mean, a lot of people are very disappointed in Jemmy. If Jemmy didn't change, if, the, if Jemmy didn't lose so, like, go down in quality and stayed to the good quality they used to be with, they probably would have still had that black base. And they, like, the better the quality, the more expensive the prop. Like, I mean, Sweet Dreams is $300 because of how big he is. And, like, the animation stuff, but, like, I don't know. Like, like, Jemmy used to have really good quality props that were about 5 feet or 6 feet. And they were 300 and something, and they were, any, and they were not even 7 feet tall. So, that tells you something. There's so much walking going around upstairs. It's like every step they take, the roof squeaks. It's so weird. There, this furnace room is old. There's like freaking dust webs on the ceiling. It's like spooky, man. Oh, you can tell the furnace room's old because you hear that noise. It's old, man. Um, but... I'll tell you, I'll tell you the story, how I found this. You want to know how I found this Frosty the Snowman, guys? Do you want to know? My, my parents in Moncton, in 2016, they went to, um, a, uh, garage sale, and they found this. And I said, if you find this G... That G, is that a G? It's hard to tell. If you find the Jemmy logo, the G, Jemmy logo on the box, it says Jemmy. And if you find Jemmy on any any item for Halloween and Christmas, pick it up. Um, unfortunately, guys, I don't think I'll ever get him fixed. Um, at the moment, I've tried brand new batteries in him. And the motor makes this clicking noise, and I think the motor is dying. Um, uh, and I don't, I, I mean, I understand because he's old, 1999, but there's another model before this one in, like, 1998. It looks way different, but I like the one, I like this look better for it. And, uh. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. And uh, I'm very happy that I have that. And you know that Santa motion that I have? Well, that was made by Jemmy. And uh, that's... We found that on Facebook for cheap. Like, really cheap. Like, 20 bucks. And it worked. It worked perfect. Um... And, uh, he's really hard to find, too. Oh, my nose is getting stuffed up down here. Um, but how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I always like to ask you guys. <laughs> I always like to la like to ask. This year, I'm hoping to put my Cauldron Witch upstairs for Halloween. Maybe Jason as well. I don't know. I might move my lizard's cage over more, so I can put him there over beside that, over there, upstairs. But I don't know. 
My mom gets too creeped out by it, so I don't know if I'll put them upstairs. Um, the witch is a, is pretty good. Uh, I got an itchy eye, guys. Some days I get it once in a while. Hmm. Oh my god. How are you all today? I hope you're having a good day. I'll show you. I'll show you where all my stored stuff is right now, where everything's stored. The witch is in there. That zombie. Um, that's not the static prop. This, one of the this, one of those static props are in there. See, it's in there. I think that's the zombie one with the gray hair. The other one's somewhere. Um, I don't know where that cauldron is. Let me find it. Oh, see that? See that right there? That black thing? That's the witch's cauldron. Don't worry, guys. It's not getting crushed. It's perfectly fine. Um. I used the Walmart boots box for Halloween. Might take it out to store more stuff. That's okay though. Um, very cool. I showed my nan this upstairs yesterday and it creeped her out. I don't blame her, it's creepy. It's definitely not creepier than Jason though. Jason is even more creepy. Um, this thing is going to be going to the garbage. Or going to, we're going to be selling this this dresser. It's too big. It takes up too much space in my room. Um, the original price for this guy was seventy four dollars and ninety nine cents. I got him with uh, this, this, and two other static props that that so i got five props for a hundred dollars guys five that's crazy like she i'm so happy she gave me these props like she really means so much guys that she gave me this stuff like most of my halloween stuff was from Halloween Central. I'm not gonna lie. That's where mo I think that's where all of it came from. All of the props. 200 last year. I actually had to throw out his original speaker, unfortunately, and his original speaker sounds sounded a little better than the one that's in him now. But the the one that's in him now still works. It's still good. The one that's in him now. So, you know, it still works. It's not bad. Or anything but it was worth the buy at least um, are you guys excited for Halloween I'm just ready I am freaking ready I'm almost ready not quite I still have to buy more props and stuff so you know expect more to come I don't know when but I'm super excited um, I don't know if you guys are, but I am ready. I am definitely ready to uh, get stuff ready, and I'm just ready. Um, guys, I think I'm gonna end the live stream now. It's getting pretty. I'm pretty bored now. I'm bored out of my mind right now. There's not really much to show since I've tested out so much last in the last two months. Um, last the last two months, I tested stuff out. And I'm telling you right now, everything's probably fine. Everything's everything's fine. Nothing's broke. Everything's good. So I think I'm going to end the live stream, guys. See you guys in another video. See you guys later. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. The gray stream. See you guys next time.